One of the questions I get asked the most in PAL world is which PAL is the most efficient when it comes to mining? Now, I know everybody's favorite miner is Dig Toys. Now, I personally love them. I think they should be the best. But today we're going to be going over questions that a lot of you guys have and questions you might not think of whenever you're picking a PAL that you're going to use for mining. Because there are a lot of things that we need to take into consideration, which is how many times are they actually stopping to eat? How many times are they stopping for a sanity break and heading to the hot tub? How much damage do they actually do to when they're actually hitting them? And the other question is, will I have to deal with the fact of them getting stuck going from one rock to another rock and how much that is going to affect the amount of production I'm going to get for each pal. So today we're going to be taking a look at the four pals that I think should definitely be in your priority. We're going to drill down exactly what benefits they have what disadvantages they have and answer the question which is the best one and the answer might actually surprise you. So the way I conducted this test is by putting different pals with the same passive skills with the same abilities and went ahead and had them destroy a rock and then I saw how much their sanity depleted, how much food consumption they actually took and also how much damage they actually did to the actual rock. We did the testing with every single character that I felt are the ones that are going to be the top of the list. And we also took in consideration what their current level was for mining. As you guys know, there are some ones that have level 3 mining, level 4 mining, and up to level 5 mining. I wanted to test them in base level, and then we'll discuss what happens when you actually level them up. So we started our test with Retiro, and one thing you want to note here, guys, his food consumption is 350, his sanity is always base level like everybody else, and his food consumption is actually pretty low compared to the other characters, all right? So compared to the other ones that we're going to be comparing, his food consumption is only five loaves of bread, so we want to take that into consideration when we're doing that. So we went ahead and we placed them down to mind, and one thing we actually noticed was the, was the variable differences of damage they're able to do to the actual rocks. It varies between between level 38 and 42 and that fluctuates based on the amount of damage they actually do the rock sometimes it even spikes up to 44 but I think this is based just on the angle that they hit the rock so you're looking at a variable here I'm going to say of 40 damage per rock if we actually round that off now after they get done mining the rock these are the results we actually notice we notice that their food consumption went from 350 to 333 we also notice that their sanity dipped almost nine points that means if we take into account what we're seeing here we're going to notice that they're going to be needing to eat food very often and in addition to that we're going to notice that they are going to need to go take a break very soon because they dipped eight points in sanity in just one complete rock so if they're doing multiple rocks that means they're going to be dipping their sanity very frequently and the consumption of the food will also be dipping as well because it's roughly about 20 points you know if you round it off so it's something to keep in mind as we progress to the other characters but as we know as we are seeing right here we're going to see that this character will be consuming a little bit more food. It's going to be taking a couple breaks. Now, in addition to that, we do have to take into account that he is a level three miner and also that he is not going to be consuming that much food when he actually goes and gets the basket. All right, so the next character we tested out is Blasimuth. Now, Blasimuth is a little bit interesting because you'll notice that his food is actually drastic from 350 all the way to 600. In addition to that, sanity stays the same, but his food consumption is a level nine food consumption. It's almost max. The one thing to note about him though, he is a level four miner, so you could theoretically upgrade him to level five, so that's a pretty good advantage. Uh, but we're gonna see how much damage he does, how much food consumption he has, and how much sanity he depletes after destroying a complete rock. All right, so one interesting thing to note here is to see the damage they actually output when they're actually hitting this rock. As you're seeing here, the, it's going to be varying between 73, 72, 82. I think roughly we could say it's going to be like a 75 damage that they're outputting. Now, the question is that does this damage output determine how fast this rock gets destroyed? That's something I'm going to explain a little bit later in the video, but it is something to keep in mind because it's something to take into account to see exactly who's destroying the rock faster as opposed to the other ones. But after they get done destroying the rock, now it's time for us to see how much they actually lost when doing it. So from the 600, they went and dropped to 588. Roughly a 12 point percentile. So we were to round it off, I would say 10%. And in addition to that, we also noticed that their sanity only dipped four points 
as opposed to the previous pal that we actually took a lot. So right now, this is looking like a very promising pal due to the fact that his sanity is dropping less, he's consuming less food when actually harvesting, and he's doing more damage. Now, is this the best mining pal? Well, let's keep testing and see what else we find. All right, so now let's see what Astagon has to offer. Once again, Astagon is very similar to Blasma, 600 food consumption, sanity stays the same for all of them, level four miner, and the same amount of food consumption when it comes uh, to needing food, a level nine here. So once we go ahead and we place them in the base, now it's gonna be to figure out and determine how much actual damage they're doing to these nods, all right? So to these particular rocks. So as we're seeing right here, guys, the damage is varying between the 58 and 64. So I'm going to give it a 60% damage that they're outputting to the rock per in general If we take into account that it varies between 65, 63, 58, 54 And the amount of time it actually takes them to destroy this particular rock Now on all of these scenarios I placed down three of these To see exactly how fast three of them would actually go ahead and destroy that particular rock Alright so after that rock is completed this is what we got in results We got 588 in food consumption very similar to what we had with Blasphemous, as you guys see, 12 points here, so 10% that we're going to round it off to. Sanity-wise, we got a 96, so that means a 4% dip when it came to sanity-wise. So this is a very interesting find due to the fact that the sanity level is the lowest out of everybody that we tested. Now, of course, out of coolness, we got to mention the dig toys. They're the worst, guys. They eat a lot of food. They take a lot of breaks. And boy, do they actually do damage very differently because instead of doing one particular hit, they're doing multiple hits as they're spinning. The biggest problem with dig toys is they're slow. And unfortunately, they consume a lot of food. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the remaining character, which is the Anubis. The great thing about the Anubis is that he's a multiple functional character, meaning that when he's done with the rocks, he's actually able to pick them up, take them into a box and deposit them and help with other stuff around the base when the rocks are disappearing and you no longer have rocks to mine because that does tend to happen in the world when there's completely no more rocks and you have to wait for them to spawn back in and what exactly is your pal doing if he's only doing mining if there is no particular other job to do now with that being stated let's talk about pathing so with pathing what we're referring to is how often a pal gets stuck when he is in the base and theoretically this is going to be primarily determined on where your base is located and if there's a lot of things blocking the passage from that you know that particular rock to another rock if there is you are going to see a lot of pathing errors with Reptyro and also with Astagon. Now, Blasphemoth does tend to get stuck. It just depends how many uh, Blasphemoths you have. And in addition to that, the Dig Toys get stuck as well. The other one that doesn't really have too much problems with pathing is, of course, Anubis. Because he's kind of like one of the quickest characters in the game. Now, with that being said... Who is the best pal to mine? Like if you only have a mining farm and that's all you're doing, you're doing nothing else, and you want to get the most amount of rock from that particular rock, Astagon's the best one. And the reason why is because his sanity level depletes the slowest. In addition to that, you could mitigate his food consumption with uh, skills. And number three is he's actually still able to do the rocks and to destroy the rocks at night because he's an eternal pal which allows him to do the mining overnight. He is the best one out of all of them if your main objective is just to get rocks. But you do have to remember, if you don't have the right skills, he is going to be taking breaks. He is going to be eating food. And that could kind of just hinder you. So you want to make sure you apply the right skills to their character. Now, in general, the one I personally recommend, and I feel that it's the most efficient one out of all of them, is Anubis. Anubis is actually the best one to have because... He does multiple jobs. You're able to scale his mining. In addition to that, you're able to reduce the amount of food consumption and breaks he takes. And number three, he's actually able to do both jobs. He's able to break the rocks, pick up the rocks, deposit the rocks, and do additional jobs. And he does not suffer pathing issues. The problem with pathing is sometimes you got to go back to the base, get them unstuck, and put them back to do the job they actually need to do. And I think that's one of the things that doesn't really take into consideration when you're actually harvesting you know there's it's what's the point of the pal being efficient if the pal gets stuck so i personally think that out of all of them astagon's the number one but if you're looking for the most efficient one anubis is the way to go 
If you guys have another pal that you'd probably be like, Laser, you should have probably checked out this pal or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below and why. In addition to that, one important thing that you're going to want to know is how to pass on skills to your characters to make them even more powerful. So check out this video that's popping up right now on the screen so you guys know exactly how to get it done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.